When watching this video, it's slanted. The reason it's slanted is because my opinion is probably a little biased. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I didn't fix the camera on my motorcycle helmet. I guess where you start? Well, you have to start exactly where you live. And I live in a city called Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York, if you don't know, is not near New York City. people don't seem to know this, but here's a picture of New York State. Now if you look at New York State, you also notice that the vast majority of the state is not taken up by Long Island or New York City, which is where everyone assumes you are from when you say New York. This is wrong. This can very much annoy most people who live in the non-New York City, Long Island area. Granted, almost half the population of the state lives there, but the vast majority of the geographic region does not. For you geographically challenged people, and there are very many of you out there. I know. But anyway, Rochester itself, uh, if you're generous, you would say it's a city of about a million people. It's an interesting city. It's got a lot wide. It's got a wide variety of stuff in it. We have a higher murder cap in New York City, which we have that going for us. But the main things that New York is really known for is known as the flower city. And that's the plant, not the substance you use to make bread. Moving forward, as you can see here, going through the downtown, it's sprawling, pretty active, not the most, but it's a good medium range city. There's plenty to do, ambient nightlife, plenty of beer, plenty of festivals, plenty of stuff to love. They have the Lilac Festival, which is the big festival in Rochester every year. Yes, it's around a plant. And yes, that may seem strange, but, but hey, who needs a good reason to party? Now, if you're thinking, what are the attractions of Rochester? What are the employments of Rochester? Those are pretty easy to say. Rochester is situated on the Genesee River, which is one of two rivers that actually flow north, the other being the Nile. The biggest thing that people know about Rochester right now is Wegmans. Wegmans here is a supermarket. I don't know if you'd call it a mega supermarket, I don't know exactly how these things are defined, but it's the big draw that everyone seems to need to see when they come to Rochester. Now Wegmans does spread out to across a lot of different states and many people love it. And yes, I would say it is very odd to say a supermarket is the attraction to your city and I can't explain it and yes, it's weird. But when it comes to employment, two of the big names in Rochester are Kodak and Xerox. There are many others, especially Strong Hospital, Alessano, the owner of the Sabres, used to live in Rochester until he moved to Florida to get away from taxes. But when we come back to Xerox and Kodak, they are actually very important to know. Kodak is important because it was a pl Kodak is important because it used to be the camera company. You, if you bought film, you got it from Kodak. Xerox was a document company. They invented photocopying. Now Xerox is known as the company that thought Windows had no future and Kodak was the company that thought the digital camera was going nowhere. Another big attraction in Rochester is Dinosaur Barbecue. Basically just a barbecue joint that smokes its meat. It has really good pulled pork and people go out of the people go out of their way to visit here. Right on the river it's definitely a very scenic spot. Although I find myself more of a Sticky Lips fan. All in all, Rochester is that run-of-mill city. 
I've heard it sometimes say it's the most average city and they do a lot of consumer testing here. I don't know if that's true and I'm really too lazy to look it up. But it is the place I'm starting. And it's good to know the place that you're starting. As I, we move forward, this is Zach. Thanks for watching.